Hey guys, so this wasn't a video I was ever planning on making, but it has to be one of the most asked about topics you guys throw at me. Back when this entire thing first happened, I did write a blog post addressing it, but maybe I need to make a video to get my point across. A lot of people have heard about this from other horror channels that talked about what happened and mentioned my name, so it's possible that they might not know that I already addressed it, so I'm going to do that right now. Anyway, if you have no clue what I'm talking about, then just sit tight. I'm going to start off by reading that post that I just mentioned, and then I'll go unscripted to wrap everything up. A lot of people have been asking me if I know anything about the disappearance of Paranormal Alana, aka Alana G. For those of you who don't know, Alana was a YouTuber who also covered dark topics. She was most known for her video covering the Elisa Lam incident. From what I can recall, at the time of her disappearance, she had a fan base of over 40,000 subscribers. In early September 2015, her YouTube channel and all other social media accounts were deleted and no one has heard from her since. So why am I involved? Just a few weeks before her disappearance, Alana and I were discussing a collaboration video. I've openly mentioned this to a number of people, so the community seems to think I have answers, and sadly I do not. I barely ever spoke to Alana. In fact, the email exchange regarding the collaboration was the most we ever interacted. I was taken by surprise at the news of her accounts being deleted because Alana expressed excitement about the idea of working with another content creator. I first emailed her on August 20th, 2015, she responded on the 24th, and then we had a back and forth until the 31st. I sent her an update email on September 6th, which resulted in a message saying that her email account no longer existed. That's when I came across all the buzz on YouTube about her going missing. I am aware of her last tweets that mention something about death threats, which a lot of people seem to believe is the cause behind this, and if you want my opinion, I say I agree. YouTubers receive a lot of threats, of course, depending on how popular they are. It's not at all out of the ordinary, no matter how stupid and childish it is. Unfortunately, online harassment is just a part of the everyday life of a YouTuber. Do I think the threats are legitimate? No. Honestly, most are not, but then again, I wasn't the one dealing with them. Being famous online is honestly pretty overrated, and I wouldn't be surprised if Alana thought her sanity and safety were worth more than having a channel. Okay, so that's that. I just want to clarify that when I say that she went missing, I mean on social media. There were no missing person reports or anything from her family, so we can't really assume that something terrible happened to her. As I said, it is extremely common to get threats from anonymous users online when you're a YouTuber, and especially if you're female. Some people are able to brush this off and others aren't, and that's completely up to them. I'm by no means suggesting that Alana should have dealt with it and continued her channel. As I said, being a YouTuber is really not all it's cracked up to be. A lot of people who support the idea that Alana was murdered or kidnapped or something crazy like that argue that no one would abandon money and fame just as they're blowing up. Again, from what I can recall, and correct me if I'm wrong, Alana had roughly 40,000 subscribers when she deleted her account. And to be blunt, YouTubers in that range are barely really getting paid anything at all. So with all of this, is it really safe to assume that something bad happened to her? To wrap this all up, I just want to emphasize the fact that I have no idea what happened to Alana or why she deleted her channel. I can only assume, just like the rest of the internet, and no matter how hard you try to analyze the so-called evidence you have, there just really isn't any proof that anything more happened to Alana than her simply quitting. I know it sounds boring, but it is way more logical. Until Alana chooses to come forward, this will remain a mystery. Anyway, I know that this was all boring and probably really anticlimactic for you guys. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to put it out there because a lot of people still ask me about this. Anyway, thanks for listening.